సహస్ర యుగ పర్యంతం అహర్యద్ బ్రహ్మణో విదు రాత్రి యుగ సహస్రాంతం తేహో రాత్ర విధో జన నమస్తే ఎవరి వన్ అకోర్డింగ్ టు మోడర్న్ సైన్స్ దర్ ఆర్ టూ థియోరీస్ వన్ ఇస్ ద స్టడీ స్టేట్ థియోరీ విచ్ సేస్ యూనివర్స్ ఇస్ నెవర్ బోర్న్ నెవర్ డైస్ అండ్ ఈస్ ఆల్వేస్ లైక్ వాట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ Next is the Big Bang Theory, which says the universe began with a point of energy exploding in a Big Bang. Since the universe is expanding and evolving, first theory is not 100% correct. Big Bang Theory says that the current age of the universe is 11 to 20 billion years. But according to new observations, that is, clusters of galaxies and superclusters, it is quite evident that our universe is much more older than that. Lots of cosmologists believe that Big Bang theory is not correct, although it is most widely accepted. In brief, modern man is not aware of forces and science which are needed to explain the creation of universe. Let's take a look at what Vedic Shastra that is Vedic science says. For the time being, I will only quote what it says. Sahasra Yuga Pariyantam Aharyat Brahmano Viduhu Ryatram Yuga Sahasrantam Teho Ryatra Vidojanaha It means one day of Brahma, that is Kalp, lasts a thousand cycles of four ages, that is Maha Yuga, and his night also extends the same span of time. The wise who knows this understands the reality about day and night. I will start with Kali Yuga first. According to Vedic Shastra, Kali Yuga is 432,000 years. Dwabari Yuga is 864,000 years. Treta Yuga is 1,296,000 years. Satya Yuga is 1,728,000 years. If you add 4 Yugas, you will get 1 Maha Yuga, that is 4,320,000 years. 1000 Maha Yuga is 1 day of Brahma. So, Kalp is 4,320,000,000 years. I know, some of you think this is complete myth. Please understand, change of time depends on gravity. Let's take Albert Einstein's theory. Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity predicts that where gravity is stronger, time passes more slowly. So the time we experience on Earth is different than the time on Venus. Why? Because the gravity, rotation and revolution of Venus is different. The planet Venus rotates very slowly on its axis. Because of that reason, one day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days. That means sunrise to sunset in Venus will take 243 days. But the planet Venus orbits the Sun faster than Earth. So one year on Venus takes only about 225 Earth days. Because of that in Venus, day is longer than its year. So, time is different on other planets, solar systems and other galaxies. Now, on the other hand, experience of time is different based on lifespan. Consider this example of an insect. An insect born at night and within the same night it grows, procreates, lays eggs and grows old. The next morning, you can find it dead under a street light. If you tell an insect that its entire lifespan was equal to one night of a human, that will be unbelievable for the insect. Similarly, the measurement of time given in Vedas are beyond normal human imagination. Now you know how Vedas can give you knowledge about space and time. This Yuga cycle that you are watching on screen right now is called Maha Yuga. 1000 such cycles forms one day of Brahma. So, one day of Brahma is 4.32 million multiplied by 1000. 
that is 4.32 billion human years. Each such day of Brahma is called a Kalpa. So one complete day and night has 8.64 billion human years. The age of Brahma is 100 celestial years. Each year of Brahma has 360 celestial days. And the total age of Brahma is 360 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 8.64 billion years. That is 311.04 trillion years. This period is called Mahakalpa. How ancient Vedic people come up with these numbers is still a mystery. But I will continue my research and I will provide you with more information in the future. That's all I have for today. Have a good day everyone.